Fishing Canada Life Jacket. Oh, come on. <laughs> Let's go fishing, Pete. Let's go get one there. I like to see the way Kevin's saying. He says, we'll get one there. He didn't say we're going to start there. We're going to go there. He said, we'll get one there. We'll get one there. And we'll get one there. That's confidence in a guide right there. Look at that. Oh, it's a pair of gloves in your boat. Look at that thing. Look at the cigar. That is one crazy looking dude. That's the fish you're looking for. That's why fishing is so awesome. Right there. The Fish in Canada Show. Brought to you in part by Ram Trucks. Built to serve. Prince Craft Boats, dominate the waters. Garmin, plot your paradise, reel them in. And Ontario Canada, in partnership with Destination Ontario. Today's Fishing Canada episode has me back with walleye fishing fanatic, Kevin Labors of Merlin Park Cottages. It's been a long time since we fished together and apparently the walleye are biting. You got a life jacket for me, Pete? Right there, brother. Fishing Canada life jacket. <laughs> Only the best. Mercury <laughs> Marine, fishingcanada.com. Oh, <laughs> oh, come on. You can open it up. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to be concentrating on casting crankbaits to weed beds for active walleye. It's such a fun and effective tactic. Uh, we'll start there and then we'll scoot across and just uh, then we'll skip over there. We'll whip them to that bay, we'll get one there, and then we'll skip across yeah, to like the other that. side of that ferry. We'll start that hot shore. I like to see the way Kevin's saying, he says, we'll get one there. He didn't say we're going to start there, we're going to go there. He said, we'll get one there, we'll get one there, and we'll get one there. That's confidence in a guide right there, brother. <laughs> I like that. Okay, man, let's boogie. There we go. Good shot, buddy. And a boy. How was you feeling, Kevy? Oh, yeah. Not that heavy, but... Oh. What's he do? Ooh. And it's a nice wall, I think. Yep, it okay. is. Beautiful. Good fish, buddy. Perfect. Oh, it's a perfect weed walleye. We got him. <laughs> Stay in that net, mister. Nicely done, Kevin. Go <laughs> ahead, take that one. Okay. Good work. That's what we're after right there, folks. That's a perfect, typical weed walleye. We're, I mean, we'd take bigger ones, we'll take smaller ones, but that's a nice, <laughs> that's a nice uh, size right there. Yeah. What do you, what, what's he weigh? Well, that's probably two and a half, yeah, maybe. Maybe three pounds, maybe. Yeah. Yeah, good, perfect. That's what the, most people are. That's what people eaters, are after, right? Eaters, you know. You're allowed four of those on this water, on Quinty, yeah. right? And if you're gonna, if you had three of those in a big one, you got one over 25 inches. That's if you right. wanted to keep, but these are the ones to keep right here, folks. That's yeah. absolutely perfect. And we'll let them go now. Yep, let's put them back. Good work, buddy. Hey. Shows that they're on the crank. Excellent. They're hitting the crank. That's chartreuse. One for the chartreuse, which is good. You want to see that. How close were you? Out in the weeds or close to them? Or I was on the outside edge of the weeds. It comes way out here. Yep. Oh, we'll be spinning around. Yep. Spin around more. Yep. There you go. Okay. Thank you. Excellent. Good work, Kevin. Love it. Oh, fish right at the boat, buddy. Oh, it's a nice one. Hang on, hang oh. on. Hang on. Scratch the net. I don't know if that net's big enough. For oh, this really? One. Is it big enough? <laughs> You'll fit in this net. Nice one, though. Look at how strong they are. Got oh, them. That's, yes, that's bigger sir. than the first one. It is a little bigger. Yep. He's over three. Look at sure. that lure oh. came right out. Popped out, brother. Nice. That, look at how pale that fish is, eh? Grab him up. Look at how pale he is. Beautiful fish, brother. Let me get that. Beautiful. Yeah. Nice. Uh, let him go. Yeah, put him on there. Ooh. Look at that thing. Look at cigar. Oh, Isn't no that? way. I think it is. Yeah, that certainly looks like it. Yeah, it's a cigar. Look at, his, look at his nose. Oh, my God. Oh. <laughs> There's one, Petey. Got him, bud? Yeah. Ooh, Lee. What do you got? Let me get him around the motor. Oh, he's taking drag. Oh, Mike <laughs> the walleye. What are you thinking? Take a guess. Oh, it's got to be a walleye, buddy. Well, we'll do another drift if, we, if, we, if it's a nice walleye. Oh, looks like a big one. It is a good size. Big, whatever it is, is big. Oh, it's a nice oh. walleye. 
Uh, that's a good one, Petey. Oh, that's a nice fish, buddy, that one. You can, you can tell that when you pull and drag. Oh, yeah. There you go, buddy. That's a little better. A little better? <laughs> I say that's a lot better. Pick them out. Yep. Pliers. Four and a half. Oh, you got them. Yep. A little better fish. Yeah. I thought he was bigger than that even. I thought he was like, I thought it was like a six or seven. Big dog, right? They, 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 fight. they pull, people have no idea how much they pull. I'm gonna just lock her off here for a second and then we won't waste too much more of this. We could probably do another drift. We might want to do a couple of drifts on this, you know what I mean? Okay, well, we're in a bit shallow, right? That's seven feet, that you were, you got him in seven feet? Yep, right over, right in the Put weeds, back. buddy. Let him go? Yep, yep, for sure. Really? See you, pal. Woo. See him shake it off. Oh yeah, look at it. He'll go, boom, powered down. You go, see how slow, it, that's a typical Wally. He went down like this. But when they fight and when they strike, it's unreal, isn't it? Like the difference, they're so fast paced. They're right at the boat. Oh, he got off. Oh, oh that's man. a freaking that's a bag nice leaf. walleye. That's what I don't like about braid right there. What's that? You lose, you lose more than you will with floral. If you run straight fluorocarbon with a soft rod, mm -hmm. you won't lose near as many fish, honestly. Because of the stretch? Or? Just stretch and the shock absorber of the rod. Everything is just, it just doesn't, right there I pulled that out of his mouth. I guarantee it. Ripped, I, I yeah. pulled it, you know what I mean? The, the small hooks, big hook, doesn't matter. When, it, when they're destined, I mean, you're going to lose fish on fluoro too, but straight fluoro, 12 pound, it's hard to beat all round for crank baiting. It really is. Look at that thing, look at the cigar. Oh, Isn't no that, way. I think it is. Yeah, that certainly looked like a gar. Yeah, it's a gar. Look at, his, look at his nose. Oh my God, that's the first time I've ever had a gar on this boat. <laughs> he hit it so oh different. Oh my God, look, that's look, a look, nice look, size look. one too. Look at this stupid thing. I want to do a show. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I want to do a show on these guys on Quinty sometime. I knew that wasn't, just I felt that wasn't a wall. I just, it just did not feel right. That's cool how they jump like that. Oh they my God, look at, look at him. You're barely hooked on him, I can see that. Yeah, it's one little hook. And I'm look at that. There he comes. Oh, snaky thing. If he got off right now, I'd be happy. Because otherwise Kevin's gonna grab him. <laughs> <laughs> I grab him by the back of the head, but they're so strong feet. I know. I know you they're can't ridiculous. Hold them. They're ridiculous. Hang on to my rod. I okay. might have some gloves in here in the boat here. So if I got gloves, then we're gonna do this. I gotta use my right hand to get the grip my best grip of death on them because I know I won't be able to do much with my left. What the hell is that thing doing here? Usually they're way in the shallows. Like... Are they? Yeah. Oh yeah. Turn them around. Yeah. We're gonna... Yeah. Grab them by the back of the head and the tail. Well that's what I'm thinking. Hold on. Okay, we'll give it a little pressure right there. I got it, yeah. And pull it towards the boat. Uh, hang on Pete. It's like going for a bull ride. Woo, I'll crawl along the boat to show the camera. Yeah, if you want to grab those players behind you there, Kevy. Okay. That is one crazy looking dude. <laughs> <laughs> That's a funny looking wall you That's, got there. Th that is my first gar on Bay of Quinty, I will say that. And there is a lot of these fish here. I've never tried for them. I always said I wanted to try for them. Can you, can you get that, Kevy? He's going to squirm now. Oh, beautiful. Look at that, folks. Beautiful. And the gar king. I'm gonna put him back and watch him go. God, gloves. Always have a pair of gloves in your boat <laughs> in case you get slimy gar. Look at that. Oh. oh, God, that's hideous. But it was pretty cool. That jump was awesome, eh? Those jumps that they do. I mean, this, I mean, this is crazy wind right here, folks. So, nice walleye. Yeah. Good nice job. job, buddy. So as you can see, Kevin and I are both using spinning gear here, throwing crank baits uh, for walleye. That's because we're using these light balsa wood baits. If, we're, if I was using a plastic bait, a heavier bait, I'd probably use bait caster. I like bait caster better. Just something about it I like with that. But the key to this kind of fishing, bait casting, spinning, whatever, big build crank baits like that. Cast it out, cracker down there, about three or four good hard cracks and then just slow it right, for walleye, slow it right down. I mean, you want it to 
Kev puts a lot of pauses in his. He does this thing kind of move like that, right? So you can do it with the reel handle, you can do it with the rod, do whatever, but you want to get it down quickly and then, then work it back slowly. And that's the key to these walleye especially. If your crankbait hits the weeds, all the better. If it hits the weeds, you kind of rip it, pop it, it pulls free of the weeds and that a lot of times triggers a fish. But it's just, you cast it out far as you can, you go with the wind, crack her down there, four or five cranks, to get it down to its running depth, and then just slow it right down. And you do that and then stop it every now and then, little pull, little pause, little rod tip flick, you'll catch walleye on a crank. Got one. Nice. No, it's not much, I don't think. You get another gar, Pete? Probably. He felt weird biting. <laughs> yeah, he's pulling like a gar or something like that. Want me to go behind the boat and nope. net him? No. Nope. He, he's coming back now. It's a walleye. Little guy, I think. Yep. That's a perfect eater right there. Should take him home. Oh. <laughs> Good work, Kevin. That's a perfect size eater right there. That is a perfect eater right there. Beautiful little Bay of Quinty walleye. We're probably gonna get some more. Maybe by the end of the day, we'll keep some to eat, so. Look at that, beautiful little fish. See you, bud. Gone. Got one? I do. Hey, they're here, buddy, I told you. We don't need to leave. I'm gonna lock it here, Kev. I'll lock it and see how that does. Hopefully, it'll... And then this, I mean, this is crazy wind right here, folks, so. Nice, oh, yeah. nice walleye. Yeah. Let me get my extension there going is, up. Buddy. Good nice job. Nice job, buddy. Hey. Beauty, that one's a little more golden. That's a good looking fish. Careful. Yeah. That's another thing about crankbait fishing, folks, is that you really got to be careful of the hooks because these walleye can, uh, they can throw a hook into you quick, can't they? Another perfect, that's a good keeper. That's the, like the high side of the keepers right there. That's a perfect size for the upper side of keeping, eh? Yeah. You know what I mean? Nice. Beauty. Awesome, bud. So it's basically, this is just a weed bed off of a point. This point, Kevin's brought me over to this point. I used to fish largemouth bass. Me and Mikey Burris used to fish largemouth bass off this point sometimes. And you always know there's walleye here. It's just a, it's a, it's a known spot. There's just weeds off of it. And, and the wind blows like this. We're in seven feet. We got them as close as six feet. You know, they don't dive down to 20 and 30 during the July and August all the time. So there's food here for them too. So. Today's hotspot is on the world famous Bay of Quinty in Ontario. The waypoint on your screen will get you right there. As you can see from today's show, it was all about fishing weed lines. Since the outside edge of the weed beds here usually run erratically and hardly ever in a perfectly straight line, casting is the most efficient way of presenting a bait. Try to get as close as you can to the weed edge. We like throwing floating crank baits that dive around 8 to 12 feet deep and have a wide wobble when retrieved at a slow speed. As said in the episode, cast the crank bait out, reel it quickly to get it to the maximum running depth, and then slow down. If you feel a weed, Rip the bait free with a hard, fast jerk of the rod. For more hot spots like this one, check out fishingcanada.com. This crazy wind! How big is he? Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Look how golden he is. He's beautiful. Perfect fish. I, I, I'm, I'm due for a sheep hand right now. You're due for a big walleye, a big one. <laughs> and it is a big walleye, isn't it? I think I saw a walleye. Huh? I think I saw a walleye. I'll bring him around to you. Here he comes. Oh, don't fly him <laughs> So what I did there on this fish, I said, yeah, I'll get him out here, is uh, Kev was saying to hit the edge of the weeds. I oh, just leaned that rod right there. Edge of the weeds, but I, I looked at the, the Garmin and I could see the screen, the edge of the weeds is right here. We're right on the edge, right? So I cast as hard as I could against the wind, saying, you know what, maybe there's a little edge or a break or something like that. 
and the fish hit. Like he was sitting right there. So yeah, so I just try to cast this, these these baits that Kevin's using and I'm using are both balsa, balsa wood, very light, extremely light baits. So it makes them real hard to cast if anywhere except for with the wind. But I cast that one the best I could. You little rat. I hate when they do that. <laughs> hey, you think you got a hold of them, eh, Kev? Yeah, buddy. And then look at that gorgeous fish. <laughs> He's going back. He's going back. I hate I hate hurting a fish if I can help it, you know what I mean? So nice size though. That's perfect size right there. See you, pal. Oh yeah, watch. There he goes. <laughs> so yeah, I just barely I just I looked at the weed edge. I thought something different. Why not try the edge? Threw as hard as I could for 30 feet at most. <laughs> Cranked it down about halfway. That shows you how short a cast you can get them on too, right? Yeah. The crank bit goes down like this, starts to work back. He's almost ready to come up and he already hits it. So sometimes you just make these crazy casts out there, wild casts or different casts, and it works. Thanks, buddy. Oh, right by the boat, Kev. I just go. <laughs> he just cracked it right on the boat. I think it's a walleye. This dog is like a walleye, yep. Is it a walleye? Yep. No, it isn't, is it? Yes, it is. Yeah. Good eyeballs. Do you take, uh, now you're going to need to. Players on him, you think, or? No, I don't think so. I got the net. There you go. Beautiful. That's a good little leader, oh, too, eh? Oh, show that sideways right there to the camera. <laughs> that is perfect. Look at that. It's funny, we're getting these fish, too, and Kevin says, okay, I got a weed bed coming up, I got a weed clump coming up, I got something coming up here. We catch a fish every time he says that. That's the advantage of fishing with a guide. They have everyday experience out here when you can get once a year, twice a year, something like that. Like I fished the Bay of Quinney all my life, but I haven't fished this area of the Bay of Quinney hardly at all. The only time I have is with Kevin, and every time we come out, he showed me new spots, and we just fish on every one of them. So if you're, if you're thinking you're gonna find a ton of fish like this without any assistance, fresh out of the gun, without you know knowing the areas, you're probably not gonna catch a, a whole lot. It's good to get a guide for at least a day. You know, and if, if, if you can afford a guide for a week, take it, because he's gonna put you on, the, he'll get you on fish every night, you'll go crazy. <laughs> well, this crazy wind! And? I think it's a bass. No. Oh, maybe not. Walleye. Walleye? Yeah. We will take a walleye. We'll Ooh. take a bass too. Okay, he's dogging now. Oh. Am I going to get a shot at this guy? How big is he? Is he big or just the wind doing oh, this? Oh, this is good size. Oh my god. See, normally, Kevin got handcuffed here, but normally you'd try to land him off that side if you could, so it didn't go under the boat. You kind of drag it into the, into the boat. This way, right now, he's dragging it away from the boat, and then we got to get the net on him. There we go, buddy. There's the weeds. There we go, Pete. You're fighting her like a giant, buddy, and hopefully it's big. Yeah, that's a nice fatty. Turn him, can you turn him, Kev? That's a big fish. Yeah, buddy. That's the big boy we're looking for, right there. Whoa, right there, Kevin. <laughs> nice. Nicely done, buddy. Look at the colors on that one. Oh my God, that's the fish you're looking for. And that was in shallow. Go ahead. Right in the weed line. <laughs> oh my God. Look how golden he is. He's beautiful. A perfect fish. Oh, go. the hook came out perfect. Line around the snout. Wrapped around. There you go. You got him. There we go. Beautiful fish, buddy. Look at that. Show that to the camera. I say I've seen enough of them. Show that to everybody. Good work. Yep. Good work, brother. Look at that, the sun shining yeah, up. Boy. Get him back Better quick. get him back, yeah. eh? Gorgeous beautiful. fish, look at that. What a beautiful walleye. Oh, Gone. it took right off. Right? Oh yeah, for sure. For awesome. Sure. The beauty of nasty wind like this is the walleye will bite. The bad part of it is it's hard to work, right? That's, uh, it, it can certainly, if you had to stay in a spot, you'd lock your trolling motor on. But if we're drifting like we're doing, the hardest part is staying on the weed edge. But Kev, we rolled on that weed, weed bed and he got that fish up in shallow. That was five feet of water. So that tells you these fish might move up, right? Not even on the edge anymore. So excellent work, Kevin. Yeah, buddy. That's a gorgeous fish. That's what we're looking for. And that, you know what, folks? You can expect to get them during the summer months. We are just in the first week of August here. You can get them like pretty much every day out, right? There's, oh, there's sure. fish like that. Not necessarily that big, but you know, yeah, we I mean, look into those bigger ones. That's what you're looking for. You get all the little eaters and you get a big one to throw back at the end yeah. of the day for a picture. For sure. Good job, buddy. Thanks, man. To get to today's Fast and Furious weed walleye fishing, Pete first drove east on Highway 401 and then exited south on County Road 49. 
once in the town of Picton, he turned left on Bridge Street, or as it's also called, Loyalist Parkway, and finally arrived at his accommodations at Merlin Park Cottages. He next met up with Merlin Park owner Kevin Lavers, and they headed out for a jam-packed day of casting crankbaits. The Fish in Canada Show, brought to you in part by Yozuri Fishing Lures, fish the best. Mercury Outboards, go boldly. And Outdoor Canada, Canada's only national fishing and hunting magazine. Closed captioning for this episode is brought to you by FishingCanada.com, the gateway to your next fishing adventure.